Hello everyone, welcome to KM's Tech Guide. Uh, today we are going to see how we can install uh, Drupal in your local machine with a Kubernetes setup. And uh, to set up the Kubernetes in your local, we have a software called Minikube. And you need to so if you go for type in Google as Minikube, then we need to download the appropriate version for our uh, so how my installation is uh, my uh, win, uh, OSS Windows that's why I downloaded this and I've already installed the, installed the Minikube and for Minikube you need to have uh, uh, actually it is a VM right so it is going to run in a virtual machines so basically Kubernetes is something we are going to have multiple machines when you deploy it in the server you are going to have multiple machines uh, in initial stage earlier stages we had a single instances where we used to upgrade the uh, uh, instances in a vertical way where we initially buy a 4gb ram and uh, as some instance and we will deploy the drupal completely Drupal and we will host uh, MySQL database somewhere uh, using external service or uh, we will deploy the uh, MySQL also in the same instance. This is how in early early days we deploy the Drupal but later now and uh, later when in uh, 2015 or 16 the uh, things and all get changed when the Docker things and all came up and Docker and later Kubernetes when it, it, it is came up then the things and all uh, changed in the, in terms of architecture you can for example uh, initially you had uh, if you had a 4 4 gb ram instance with a uh, storage space and if it is going to be a vertical stick scaling you will need to scale it uh, increase the ram to 8 gb and you are going to uh, increase the storage and you are going to increase the core if it is a dual core then you are going to uh, increase to 4 core and uh, exa core quad core like that you will in increase your instance in your production server uh, based on your site traffic and usage so this is how uh, it, it's a ancient way i mean early days we used to do this in uh, drupal instances but later and uh, nowadays uh, we used to have a horizontal scaling horizontal scaling is something so if it is um, uh, if you have a single instance like you have a 4 gb ram instance where you, it is running in a dual core or a 4 core with some storage and you are going to clone that setup and you are going to buy another instance in that instance you are going to have a, a 4 gb ram instance and as well the uh, 4 core and with some storage likewise you can you, you will clone whatever the uh, thing you need and how much cluster you need you can uh, buy scale the instance in a horizontal way this is how we are uh, doing in nowadays to manage this horizontal scaling we are going with the uh, uh, things like uh, uh, application like kubernetes and docker so uh, in ancient days uh, why we are going to use uh, docker in ancient days you will uh, you will set up a server with the bash command where you will have, uh, you need to uh, initially you will set up all those things in environments by using a uh, shell commands uh, sudo apt. If it is a Ubuntu, sudo apt, centos m. Like this, you will install the uh, set up the instance manually. For each setup, it will take some time to set up the Drupal by uh, installing Apache and configure things, installing MySQL and configuring things and uh, Installing the configurations, everything is going to be take your uh, PHP extension. Everything is going to be take time for every 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 time. So to overcome these things, the Docker has came up. Docker is a configuration file, or uh, it, it's kind of a Docker file. It will have all your steps, even your OS, even the your OS or uh, software will be. Uh, uh, push it as a, I mean, it, it will be pu pu push it to Docker repo as a image. So once you get those image, and if you run it uh, in a plain vanilla instance, the if you build the Docker uh, image, 
your instance will be get up and ready that's why uh, you you don't have to uh, worry about or looking it about uh, uh, doing it manually everything is automated by using the docker as a docker container we'll say each instance will have a docker a docker build can create a container a single container so we can clone that container too uh, we can clone multiple containers and uh, and the containers can be managed using a clus cluster and to manage the different i mean multiple containers uh, the kubernetes where it is came up so um, the people like who don't have exposure or don't have access to the aws service or azure service would like to set up those things in a local so that's why the open source thing came up is the minikube where it will act as a kubernetes single node in your local machine instead of having multiple virtual machines uh, multiple instances it will act as a, a single virtual machine in your uh, 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 local system i mean in your laptop or pc or whatever so if you install a mini cube it will be act as a, a node single node in kubernetes so i am not going through a lot of things uh, to be covered in kubernetes or mini cube uh, let's directly go to the drupal installation and later we i will schedule here or uh, i will come up with the separate session for kubernetes and uh, mini cube so to install the kubernetes mini cube in your system you need to have uh, the installer i have already installed it so once you click this in, in, whether it is a mac or uh, ubuntu or whatever using the method uh, you can uh, in in windows it is exe and um, it can be a uh, ubuntu yeah, can be a command and mac it can be a installer or command you can use whatever you need for running the uh, mini cube you need to have your uh, uh, vms vm where it can be a docker or it can be a, a oracle virtual box or anything but this is uh, any any vm machines you need to be vm software you need to be installed in your machine so i am using the vm virtual box and you can also use the docker as well so currently i have installed the vm install box and then i install the mini cube so it is uh, set it up and if you face any issues like um, uh, say here uh, they are mentioning that they can use docker hyperkit hyperv uh, whatever the things we can use i have set it up using the uh, uh, first initially i set up docker and then i used the virtual box and you can uh, install whatever your machine supports and you can use it as it is you just need to install it and you need to enable it and after that after which uh, the mini cube will automatically get those driver as a uh, and get started so i've installed the uh, virtual box and it is here and uh, vm is going to be uh, or uh, mini cube as a vm will be going to be run now so we need to do a step so first i will show you a mini cube start so it's starting and it initializing the virtual box so this command will uh, this command will uh, start the mini cube yeah, machine inside the virtual box so if you face when you are installing uh, vm or uh, such things if you face any issues in between you can always uh, you know uh, there are solution i to face some issues uh, then i uninstall the docker and uh, reinstall the mini cube and in that cases uh, you will face the issues like uh, you already have the pods that is created using the uh, docker so you cannot be able to start the virtual box kind of uh, these things on our update in that cases you need to pass the driver as a param here so if you pass the driver as a driver as a param say for example mini cube start if and if driver equal to virtual box or docker if you mention that your mini cube will automatically get the driver and get uh, started to run and uh, meanwhile we can search uh, the drupal image so each uh, mini cube or kubernetes which comes up with the default docker installation inside it so what you need to do is you need to check for the drupal image 
that is there in the docker hub so in this docker hub you can uh, get the images of uh, whatever software you need so once you run the once you build this image your application will get ready or your software will get ready so i am going to use the drupal so these are the versions these are the tags okay so what i am going to use is i am going to use apache drupal 9.2 and uh, the apache docker file this is the docker file i am going to use okay let's see this is the docker file i'm going to use and i'm going to use just a uh, apache not apache buster and this everything is image even if your os need to be a uh, uh, cent os and then you need uh, the uh, installation to be drupal that for that also image is available in docker and if you need a uh, uh, nginx server and with that you need a fm the for that also the with drupal that also the image is available so i am going to use i am going to this this is a, also a tag i am going to use 9.2 and i am going to use this image i am going to install php 8 and drupal 9.2 version and this service is apache this is what i am going to use and also meanwhile we can so yeah the uh, the virtual box is ready and our uh, mini cube has been started so and for uh, database i am going to install mariadb okay so if you search for mariadb you will have your version and you can just download it and directly you can set up and uh, while you set up you can also if it is uh, windows or ubuntu uh, if you want any tool you can use that tool i used the hdsql for mysql and uh, open and uh, if you and create a tool or you can ui the command prompt that is not an issue now let's see what are the things we need and for uh, creating a we are going to use this method instead of uh, common method we are going to use the uh, this method and uh, yaml method to install the uh, drupal version drupal okay i am going to open okay okay let's see minikube uh, if you install the docker without the minikube command itself uh, uh, you can di directly use the kubectl command but i am using the virtual box so it is not allowing me to directly use uh, the i am going to get the kubectl command so i am using double dash i am going inside the double dash double dash means this command will be executed inside the kube CTL and get parts. So already two parts are running for Drupal. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this, uh, delete these parts by uh, CD Q work cube ctl then d9 so here i have all these uh, thing so i am going to delete our uh, deployment t9 uh, drupal 9's deployment completely uh, you don't never mind about these four, four files i clubbed all these files into the single file now so i am going to delete those file now for uh, i am going to delete these d9 pods uh, the deployment completely from this thing now from the mini cube for that uh, you just need to uh, pass a command like delete and then your yaml file so d9.yaml is a file test force so now our things are get there are four configuration inside the d9 file our uh, application is deployment application is completely deleted now and if you are uh, already known to kubernetes and you you will know that uh, what are the things this is doing this commands doing and we will schedule a separate uh, demo video for this thing 
and if you get pods 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 okay so again i'm checking the pods i have uh, existing pod that is running for uh, mongo express and uh, coding nighter and there is no pod for d9 so that is been deleted so let's see how we can uh, create it from the uh, scratch okay first first thing we need we need is a deployment file okay this yaml is a deployment file yaml file is a deployment file where we can, we need to specify the api version for each each object inside the kubernetes we have a api version for those thing we need to provide the api version and uh, this the, the, this file the this this object is a deployment object here it can be any any other name and you you want it and spec we are going to have a single replica uh, you can change it uh, to as well if it is two and you will have the two pods running here and i was initially using the two pods so two pods is running if you give three the three pods will be get uh, running and if you give uh, uh, four or if you give one one uh, replica i mean one pods will get run there so this is the d9 it should match this is a selector label this value should match with other configuration files this is really important this selector match labels app d9 this has to be same in other configuration also with your uh, deployment files and the template uh, going to use this docker image drupal 9.2 and apache php 8 and apache and in the it is in the port 8081 and uh, uh, okay let's see in the deployment okay we are going to so this is the file we are going to execute now directly so in the uh, these deployment files can be separate or can also be implemented in a uh, different way or it can be so we are not going to use this volumes for now and uh, volume mounts for now and uh, we are we are, we are uh, just going to see the containers so in this container we need to provide the docker image and the port is 80 we need to provide this is the port where the container will open and open and uh, uh, give us the drupal access to drupal, drupal uh, thing and uh, don't worry about the environment uh, variables now and we are going to skip and uh, for the default version we can just have uh, nothing to worry uh, i am going to comment all these things okay and you don't no, no need to worry about this thing I am just going to comment all those things. Okay. I am going to use only. So we are not going to use the secret anymore and config anymore anymore for now. And we'll just go to use deployment file where in a deployment uh, we have a app name and the container with the container we have a Drupal image. That's it. Really. And we are not going to have any environment variables for now as we already commented this we can uh, see these things in separate video uh, while we studying the cube, uh, kubernetes completely mini cube and i am going to the service so deployment is uh, the deployment is the uh, configuration it's object that will deploy a uh, deploy deploy a application inside your container or inside the instance but we need to if you wanted to expose it to the out world or if you want to export the uh, export those deployment or the running instance out to the out world then we need to provide another object that is called service so in the, the service we are providing uh, the name and this selector should match the this deployment selector value d9 so if you change it it will not work and we need to provide uh, the type is load balancer this is a default value that we need need to provide uh, you know the default uh, load ban load balancing concept so um, the same thing but the, the this will be like different uh, it's just a type here inside the kubernetes so you need to provide type as load balancer here and you need to provide the protocol as tcp and this is a uh, port of the uh, pod 
and this is a port of the container you know this is a port of the container this should match the value that you provide here and this is the port where we expose this uh, pod to the uh, to the uh, uh, master node if you if you look at if if you learn Q uh, kubernetes in the separate uh, 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 separate thing separate video then you will learn about uh, the this uh, port and the node port is where you going to access the in your local machine you are going to access the um, this uh, this value the, if you access this value your site will be up there so this value should be from 30000 to 32000 something values there you should give, provide this value alone there is a range you should do, provide this value alone other ports value is uh, going to be a invalid if you provide the uh, the port values out of this range this will be considered as the uh, um, invalid uh, values and for now after keeping this value and we are going to execute this file we are we have a, a deployment for now i'm going to change it as single value so i'm going to have a single repo and i'm going to have a service that will expose in uh, 3011 30,000 sorry so mini cube so mini cube get pods the pods is not running now and to deploy this value you need to provide apply you just need to you are going to apply this yaml file with a drupal docker image name when you apply so your deployment is created your service is created so your deployment and service is created now what you need to do is you just need to provide apply is done so let me check the pods are up and running see the pod is up and running and after which service list and uh, we our dn d9 services created and uh, that is up and running here okay I'm going to open. Oh, see, Drupal setup is ready. Now, after which you need to provide in standard installation and your DB name demo cube D7 and uh, uh, username uh, root I provide and database root. And if it is localhost let me check and you know it cannot be able to connect to the um, localhost because the your your uh, your drupal application is inside the container so inside the container you will not have a mysql your mysql thing is installed in our machine so for that you need to docker host dot docker dot internal if you provide this value in a host and then if you save and continue it will automatically and i need to provide onto demo cube 7 yeah so our uh, drupal is getting installed and your installation is ready you can also copy the things from the uh, your uh, your container to local you can do that uh, once the installation is done you can uh, uh, copy the values the sites default folder and the modules folder everything you can copy and for example so currently there is no module if you look at it here there is no module pc install right no module is there right so nothing is there uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy those files and show you demo mm, cp more sites to uh, this is what So uh, mini cube, I am going to copy mount sites is the folder. I see right mount sites is a folder and say the D9 that is going to be copy inside my uh, this is the default value namespace value. Uh, namespace value is default for uh, uh, in the mini cube and you should also provide default. So I am going to copy to the 
Drupal site folder. Now I will face an error that the pod is not fine because this value is the pod value. We need to provide the pod value. So now every time you do a deployment, the pod will be uh, created, new pod will be created. So I am going to provide the pod value here. So now the uh, file is copied to there. Now let me again go back to the uh, pod and we will check. Okay. Now, if you go and look into the file, see the web. Models. We should have, yeah, now it is, yeah, your site is ready and it was the previous installation. I already installed this one. And if you check at the extension here, the modules are already installed. I've installed many modules already uh, for the contribution purpose. And all the modules were installed. And if you look at here, so by this using this way also uh, you can um, uh, always edit and uh, move the files and you can check your uh, modules working correctly or not and uh, i think uh, this video will be helpful for you and i'll also share the uh, configuration files with you and you can also if you have any doubts you can comment and uh, don't forget to subscribe and we will learn to together and uh, i'll uh, make videos and please support me by subscribing and liking and sharing my video and i'll keep uh, uh, learning and i'll also share the learning whatever i learned with you guys thank you